So, um, and her, her talk is about breaking the wall of computational motion aesthetics. If actually, I mean, the, the Olympics are over, but I think this is quite a, a relevant topic. Okay, please, you have to go. Oh, uh, do you know Michael Conlon? Maybe you say no, but I say you might have seen him when you have been watching TV regularly during the last weeks. Michael Conlon is a current world champion in bantamweight boxing. Well, let's see, that is how he came to the news. That picture was taken directly after his quarterfinal in the Rio Olympics. And well, what happened? He lost that fight. And he was very convinced that he was the winner of this fight which brought him to the following words, I came for gold and I've been cheated. I would advise anybody not to compete for the IBOR, that is the World Boxing Federation. They are the most corrupt organization in the world. And in fact, his allegiation is part of a big discussion and controversy about the fairness in judging in boxing. And that is something we don't only have in boxing. We have it in many sports. We have it in figure skating. We have it in snowboarding. We have it in rhythmic gymnastics, in gymnastics. In fact, we have it in all sports where we have a judge who is giving a score, a subjective score, to the performance of an athlete. So I wonder, how can that be possible? We have so many smart devices. We can capture ourselves. We can, do, we can monitor everything that we do in daily life. So why can we not just take some sensors, put it on the athlete, and get a score out of it? Well, the answer is, that is not as simple because we need knowledge. We need knowledge about what makes the performance good, what makes the performance aesthetic, what makes one performance better than the other, or what makes one performance get a certain score. That is knowledge that you have as a judge. You learn it over years in training and experience. So how should the computer know that? That is exactly what I was investigating in my PhD. So I took those motion centers and attached them to the body of the athlete up to nine of the centers, and I collected a lot of data. I collected more than 300 ski jumps, and I took additionally notes of annotations from judges on the quality of the jumps. Then, what I did from those data? Well, first, I tried to find features and descriptions of the that might describe the quality of the motion, and second, I used these features to build and to learn some artificial knowledge on the performance, the quality of the performance of the jump. So my results show that it's possible to use this artificial learned knowledge in a similar way as a judge would rate the performance. So my system is evaluating the jump under the same criteria as a judge. In other words, now it is possible to build a system that can evaluate objectively the performance of an athlete, not only for speed jumping, but we can use it for any other sport in the future. And then, in the end, we can have more objectivity, more fairness, and break the wall of computational emotion aesthetics. Thank you.